Batman says you need training. He left that to you? There's a reason he trusts me. Begin. Supergirl wins. Scarecrow. Supergirl. Fighters approaching Brainiac's ship. You watched the whole... Begin. Begin.
part of you hurts the worst. Green Arrow. The Joker. Fighters approaching Brainiac's ship. <laughs> well, this is gonna hurt. It's about to be your worst nightmare. You didn't say it was gonna hurt me. Begin.
wins. Apparently God has a sixth sense of humor. Yes, she does, doesn't she? Begin. Green Arrow, Superman, fighters approaching Gorilla City. I heard you killed the other me. That was an accident. Like the one you're about to be in. Begin. City welcome.
Batman. Superman. Fighters approaching the Joker's playground. Begin. Green Lantern, Batman, <laughs> Fighters Approaching Slaughter Swamp. This wasn't the plan, Jordan. Begin. You're just a guy in a suit who's winning.
Dr. Fate. Superman. Fighters approaching Slaughter Swamp. Begin. Batman, Superman, the Joker, <laughs> fighters approaching Brainiac's ship. expect this to be a cakewalk. 
I'll end it with one punch. There's no use talking to some people. Begin. Justice. Lantern, Supergirl. <laughs> Fighters approaching Slaughter Swamp.
Begin. Begin. your chances. down all day. Thank <laughs> you. 
mask really necessary? Never heard that one before. Arrow. Swamp thing. Fighters approaching Fortress of Solitude. Begin. Man, I chunked that one. Call it a teaching moment. about the gills.
Swamp Thing wins. The Joker. Swamp Thing. Fighters approaching Fortress of Solitude. <laughs> this world is angry with you. Everyone is always so judgy. Defend yourself. Begin. <laughs>
flash. Ah! Fighters approaching the Bat Cave. Begin. Flash would like a word. I can imagine what that word is. I tell you, but this is a family show. Begin.
Flash wins. gas arrow. the soup still fit, Barry? Super fast metabolism. Don't gain weight. Way to make the rest of us jealous. Begin.
been muted. Oh, I don't know. Did, did you run the commercials? Because oh, when you I run the commercials, I think it auto mutes the mic. I ran some commercials earlier, so that's probably yeah. Well, that's no good. Oh, I guess we got to do the the sponsor shout out again. This, yeah, later. <laughs> uh, let's get. To, I'm gonna toss up one of the videos here that we kind of ran earlier. Um, How do you know what they are? They're I don't. Made. I don't know, I but guess. I know that some of them, most of them are all interviews with winners from yesterday's games. Oh, we don't cool. have any of the live ones, oh, unfortunately, okay. but we can't because of the overhead. It'll interrupt the, the current interview. So let's get, let's send up one video here. I don't know what it is. We'll find out. Uh. Oh, Shane. OG guy who just suddenly resurfaced out of nowhere. So can you tell us a little bit about yourself? You been, this is your first time in Montana Melee, right? It is my first time in Montana Melee, yeah. You just came in and just, like, just wrecked. We've got the Hollister yeah. shirt. He's oh, old school. Uh, it's just, I've been playing funny games all for a while. I used to play with these guys before they even started doing all this stuff. So when I came back into town and heard they were doing this, I wanted to come and support it. And so I actually went out and bought a stick just for this tournament and uh, came and played. So we'll see how Street Fighter goes next. Well, that is awesome. Like, that is a true testament of friendship there. Like, you are a much better friend than I am. I'll tell you that much. Um, how are you enjoying Montana Melee so far, though, since it is your first first I'm one here? I've uh, been to quite a few tournaments, and they have a lot of stuff to set up here, a lot of fun, casuals going on. So anytime you can come hang out with your friends, it's a good time. Well, awesome. Well, I'm glad that you're here, Thank and you. I'm glad that you get to hang out and see a bunch of your old friends, and I hope that uh, you have a good time for the rest of the weekend. I hope you guys continue doing this for uh, years to come. All right, thank you. And we're back. I'm going to put these commentary ones real quick. Let me just do this. And this. I've got to flip some commentary stuff here. There we go. Get it swapped out. I'm on the left or on the right. Um, but yeah, we're kind of got we got into top eight for injustice. We're gonna be moving right along. We have some of our uh, intros happening here. I might actually flip the camera for the intros. Um, so as we kind of get rolling here, we can get some stuff going. Let's see here. Let's throw, let's get rid of the, this slide. Give me one second, folks. I'm kind of doing it on the fly. On the fly, on the slide. One moment, folks. We're getting there. Okay, so, ooh, okay. So, they have a couple more interviews happening here. Um, I should be mentioning some of the other stuff here. Um, some of our other sponsors that aren't necessarily on the slide, but are supporting the scene all the all the same. Of course, Ruby's in in Convention Center. That's where we're at right now. They can donate the space, so we don't actually pay for anything. Because um, all the venue fee and stuff is going to go straight to Watson's. And then we have Muse Comics, always supporting us here in Missoula every every year giving us comics and stuff like that to kind of raffle off a little bit of the prize pot stuff not prize pot uh sorry but just giving out some games some prizes for the games um eight arc of course donating but two sticks that we're raffling off for charity um the obsidian we, we have ads for them the obsidian is probably my favorite of the bunch the dragon looks really nice as well um the other sticks are are good but as far as just straight style goes obsidian's got to be the way to go we have wall clippers who gave us a bunch of like shavers and oh, trimmers so nice. and stuff. They're actually really nice. Oh, yeah. The shaving set they gave away for Nidhogg was yeah. like really, really I, classy. Yeah. I remember you talking about that. I did take a look at it too. I see all the stuff. Dude, I kind of I need one, I need another shaver. So like, <laughs> I I would love to, I would love oh, just yeah. to snipe oh, one of those. Guys, like to have a bit of that. Um, and then we have Black Mountain Marketing. I'm not sure what they did. For specifically for us here I'm sure that's probably involving signage or something like that I don't think I don't think it's straight cash but they probably help kind of just promote us a little bit which is always appreciated um, Lake Missoula Tea Company if 
it's a local tea company here. If you if you like your tea, they got some, one of my favorites, the Lop Sang Smoky Tea. Tell them I sent you. They know who I am. And um, we have a, another another sponsor that's that helped us out last year. They're helping again this year. It's Undone. It's a local local band. Threw out some some albums our way. Some good stuff. They're kind of going all across the state. But definitely a Montana thing. I don't know how much how much sway they got in kind of the region, but definitely well known in Montana. Yeah, local support. Yeah, and that's what we that's what we want to see. But we're gonna run one ad before, and um, then we'll get rolling into intros. Uh, I think I'm gonna roll, throw up the Obsidian ad because that's the stick that we're raffling off today. We'll be right back. So that was the obsidian. Such a clean looking stick. 6.6 pounds. Cause you know when you're handling a stick you don't you want weight. <laughs> yeah. All the guys and girls can agree that if you're gonna be handling the stick, you want some weight and some nice girth to it. It just really helps out. Girth. <laughs> <laughs> the good stuff. <laughs> So it's no, good. They're, very nice. they're nice. nice. It's a really nice stick. We're raffling it off. That's so uh, big, cool. yeah, big shout out to Adark mm -hmm. helping us out there. It's phenomenal stuff. But we're kind of waiting. I think we're at a lull on both sides. Uh, over at uh, Twitch.tv slash Natamore, who's gonna be, do who's been doing our Smash Four streaming. Um, I think they're kind of doing the same thing, kind of sitting on commentators. Oh yeah. We got a little bit of a lull here, kind of as we get set up. Um, but we're gonna be moving into Injustice. Top eight soon. We have some intro music getting picked out. Some, some flashy stuff. Still super early in here, so I don't know how much hype is gonna be know, accumulated. Right? Coming up at 10 a.m. <laughs> Close to 10. I think Street Fighter Five is. Thank you, good sir. Oh, you you want to put a little bit of a? Huh? Did you say Street Fighter Five? Street Fighter Five. Yes. Street Fighter Five. That's the one where the music counts. That's when we got the people here. Hey, Where's um, someone in our chat? Entropy's own. Uh, Social media manager. How about uh, you put this stream on Twitter? Oh yeah, good point. Yeah, I can tweet. Who's the yeah. social media hey, manager other, now? Hey, there's even better stuff coming soon. I'm not gonna be a social media manager. Anymore. Oh, dude, I believe Ooh. it, man. I'm gonna get hyped. Blake gets me excited, dude. You guys give me a little stuff. You guys give me a little, give, give me a little tingling feeling. <laughs> oh my god. He gives Saul a little tingling feeling. Right, Brittany? <laughs> oh god, don't even. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. He's just, you know, yeah. warms my heart. Yeah, yeah, no, he's a special guy. That's for sure. Oh, man. Most excellent, most excellent. So we're moving right along here. We got a, another lull. They got an interview, doing their interview things. Cut the case. There's not enough sugar in there. Oh, there's more than enough sugar. <laughs> okay. When, it come, when, I, when I get coffee from you, it's always sweet. Good. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, like to. I like to give my boys the TLC. Oh, oh damn! I thought it was a plastic. Yeah, yeah I was like, <laughs> like, I got, I, I got wrecked there. Good catch, good catch. So, so um, we got to the stream out. Yeah, because we got. Uh, we so, are, where are we on the bracket? We are in top eight for injustice. We're, we're in top eight. Okay. Yeah. So I gotta look. let 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 the entropy stream or the entropy Twitter. Entropy Twitter. I think Street Fighter Five is where where it's gonna be at. I'm more excited for that. So it's kind of fresh. Mitch is, our boy Mitch is gonna be playing. Mitch is gonna be playing. Did Mitch play? Yeah. Did he play in Smash Battle? No. No, he's not, not Smash we. Smash Boy. Yeah, yeah, he's not a Smash Boy. He's not a Smash Boy anymore. But I did ask him yesterday. He said he was also entering in Street Fighter Five. I'm pretty sure still. Okay. So, yeah. No, he's uh, he's done with Melee for good. For good? He's, how old yeah. is he now? It's, 
How old's Mitch? Like 22. He's old enough to be out of the Smash scene. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Well, yeah. the biggest thing was really Rusty Sneakers left often. the scene. He uh, moved to China. He was the only person that really would, would play actively and get people going. And, mm -hmm. You uh, need those people. I don't you know? think he, he, he's not really friends with anybody else that's still playing the game. And so now all of his friends are playing fighting games. So that's what he's playing now. Yeah, oh. man, respect there, though. That's cool. I love it. We, we're we're going to grow. We're going to grow. And I think as we get kind of more and more events, more and more production go, coming into the events, a little bit more character stuff going on. I think we're gonna. I think the scene's really gonna grow. I hopefully will will take the reins one of these times and and really get loose. I want mm. Missoula to really have a specific style of tournament that we've kind of hit on. I just want to get. What I want to see is for those of you who are, might be watching in there. If, they, if you haven't watched Spring Scuffle or Fall Brawl done by a man right next to me here, you, you definitely should check it out. The production value in those in those streams are top notch. And, and that's then, all thanks to uh, uh, Kyle at Team Entropy. Right? He runs it all. And Daniel. And Daniel. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Daniel, Daniel for the graphics. All the graphics. Daniel's the graphics, graphics guy. So, He's very amazing. And then Kyle is the stream monster that keeps the four he, together. Right, so he he's, he's, he's our he's he's our, yeah. he's Montana's uh, spooky. But <laughs> what I want is just like a really grassroots style tournament. I want I want what we did at, at Spring Scuffle during Marvel the whole way through. Yeah. And you know what we I know I agree with that. that actually, I totally agree. A one day event get we Real stopped tired. by Davies last night and we're hanging out. Like, Sir Deemer was there mm -hmm. and uh, a few other people, you know, like Joe stopped yeah. by. We were all playing Tekken and other things, like Injustice. And, uh, we talked about it a little bit about, like, yeah. different styles. Of I mean, how often are people snapping selfies of themselves at, at our tournaments? <laughs> yeah. Like, really, like, yeah, like, these are my boys kind of thing. Yeah. That's, uh -huh. And that's. That's the kind of grassroots experience I, I want to bring back. Yeah. Which, you know, at a certain point, it's unavoidable to, mm -hmm. to, go to stray e to away go, from that. To go esports. Yeah. yeah. Essentially. The, the term, you know. When there's enough people that show up and there's a lot of younger kids, you know, things like that, you have the urge to be a little bit more professional and, professional and more friendly for everyone. Yeah, for everyone. You want all your, all, you want you want the event to, you know, to, to be there. For, to grow. For as many people as possible. You want everyone to have a good experience. And in order to avoid people getting upset, you need to tone it down. Can I get the topic? Yeah, I agree. Uh, but I totally Can understand what you're saying. Like that underground feeling, that Marvel so hype that, that we were doing, yeah, that was like the most fun. Bit. It's the most fun, I and mean, you feel, I guess the thing is, like, I feel so, so closely attached to the people, not so much the games. And that's the, what I want to accent more in a tournament is is the people, the the talent that we do have in Montana, in specific games, whether they be just like in, in just being big characters or their actual technical play, I want to accent those things. So I I'm, I'm excited for something to to come together for that. And, and you know, if you need any hand. Get oh, I, you like know, up, man. you Count know, in, I've, I've got, I'm gonna be pulling that networking card all over. Yeah. We gotta get Wild Bill out here. We gotta get. We we are gonna get <laughs> pro wrestling style intros. <laughs> we got some intros here. We got some stuff getting built up, and I think keep keep if you're if what if you're not in there if you're not in the Missoula Fight Club. Join us on Missoula Fight Club on Facebook. Montana Fight or Club. Montana Fight Club. Yeah. <laughs> Montana Fight Club. It used to be, it like, used to be Missoula yeah. Fight Club. <laughs> now it's Montana Fight Club. But get in there, find us on Facebook, and then keep posted. I think I got some, some stuff coming up in the works. And the only way commentators know how to run a tournament, you know? Yeah. Yeah. No kidding, right? The best way. If, we, if I need things for it. We don't care about the players. We only care about having a good time. They're just dealing with Top 8 and Super Smash right now. Last First. time I checked, he just announced them. So I don't know if they're like, I have no is idea it ready now? And Mr. Mister says, if you ever need creative, to hit him up. <coughs> oh, no, I will. Mr. Mister. Mr. Mister. What's going on over there? Are we waiting for a street match or something? They're, they're, they're chilling. We got Smash 4 still getting queued up. I don't know what's going on with the stream on their side. But we're hanging out. I have to do that plug one more time because, obviously, you guys couldn't hear my voice talking about it. And I gotta talk really fast, so let me just drink a big sip of coffee here and we'll run it again.
Okay, so we are here at Montana Melee once again. We got some cups available out for raffling. We got gear like duffel bags, t-shirts, wristbands that you can get all that stuff if you're here with us. Cheeky Geek Vaudeville. Some of those guys that are coming here, here you saw her earlier, the jury that was doing the interviews. She does cosplay. She's part of this big collection. Summit Gaming, Kale. They're going to be around. They're helping out with this event. You're going to see them as we, the esports community grows as a whole. Watson Children's Center, that's a whole reason why we're here. All of our profits from Montana Melee go to Watson Children's Center, helping out those kids in needs, trying to just help out the community as a whole, not just fighting games. Alpha Graphics donated a full stick with custom stick art and custom stick, and that nice little beveled sticker thing that doesn't get sticky, which is really dope. It's new stuff. Century Gaming gave us straight cash. They don't do a whole lot of video games. They do more of the Kino machines and stuff like that, but they're still helping out because it's a cool thing to do. MizCon, we're with them. They're with us. We're going to be at their events. They're kind of helping us out with some fun stuff. we got some more stuff in the works in the future with them. Enchantment Photography, they're going to be taking pictures for us later today. That's it. I think that's the last slide. That is the last slide, and I, uh, once again, I'm feeling very enchanted with your presence. Thank you. And I'm hoping I get a, a picture taken of that by oh, enchantment I'm, I'm sure. photography. I'm sure. Um, I will, we'll see. It's going to be a lot of fun here. And I haven't even hit up the other the other sponsors yet either. But I think we got some intros coming. I'm gonna I'm gonna flip over to the three oh, cam. Yeah. Okay, they're doing intros for Injustice Two. And uh, we're just gonna we're gonna just do it like this. Okay. Uh, hey, that's fine. Yeah. Nice. Look at that beautiful space. Huh. Wow. You got Natamore right there in the Luigi hat. We got top eight for Injustice 2. I think, is that is that top eight or is it top four or where are we at? Uh, we gotta be at top eight. For Injustice? We're at top eight. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, We are in top eight. Cool. Well, that's good stuff. Okay. Oh. Yeah, that's why we don't start in Justice Two at eight in the morning. I agreed. <laughs> if you expect, if you expect a thirty-two man bracket, sure, sure, why not? Eight o'clock in the morning. But when we're at a sixteen man bracket, we could have really started at eight. 10 o'clock, I could have got a couple extra hours of sleep. I probably would have played. And still made it in time for Taco Bell breakfast. Yep. That's what that means. That okay, we got some time to fill. We got some time to fill. It wouldn't be a stream with me on it unless I talked about food. Let's flip it back here. <laughs> Never mind, because I forgot that we were running at that <laughs> The camera. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yep. I see the folder. Let me pull it. Uh, where's the folder? Breakfast Crunch Wrap. Breakfast Crunch Wraps. Most excellent. So worthwhile. Most excellent. Breakfast Crunch Wraps. Even though they're smaller, they're so good. Uh, where is the folder? Justice 2 Top. I know, I'm just looking for the full. Oh, the full. We have an interview folder. I didn't want to clutter his... his gotcha. Yeah, I just started drooping it now because I figured that'd probably be easier. It is. Okay, we need my breakfast. It won't breakfast. matter to me if... Once I grab Play some so JoJo's in there sometime. I gotta check out their shop though, because I don't wanna get a shirt this time. So yeah. see how much those raffle tickets are. I'm gonna... No dude, straight up that, that obsidian stick? Yeah. I know Old Man Johnson dropped like 20 bucks and got uh, in raffle tickets. I think that's like 30 raffle tickets or something like that. But I checked out the box last night and I know he's at like half. This is, this is, those number of tickets are real so low right now. Really? Like, they're yeah. relatively low, but... You know, I need, they, take, they, they take Square up there. I right? think so, yeah. yeah. So I have to pay with my credit card and oh, get yeah, some dude. Apple tickets. Dude, no, for real, like, if Old Man... If you can... Old Man Johnson's definitely got the majority in there, and, uh, we're good to pull that. Um, and Old Man Johnson's got the majority of the raffle tickets in there. And he, if he gets a stick for 20 bucks, like, yo. Oh, yeah. I know. That's oh, a, like Sean. It's like Sean. That's, that's some ROI, man. Raffle, with the, raffle did fighters, Sean win a keyboard? Raffle fight. Sean, like, entered the... He got some tickets, like, fairly, like, just before they were going to do the raffle. And then he ended up winning. One of the yeah, like five minutes before right, they got the yeah. raffle. We're going to run whichever video. Let's see who we got. Let's, let's go with... Uh, uh, let's go start off. Who's the favorite? Where's Diego? In here. There he is. The favorite. The favorite. For sure. That's the way to open it. Diego. A Injustice 2 top 8 favored win. How do you feel? Uh, I feel a little sick this morning. For reasons I will not say. 
we're adults, but I still feel pretty. I still feel pretty good. You feel pretty good yeah, about I'll, it. I'll get over it. <laughs> so I keep hearing that there is a 12-year-old who is kind of kind of taking storm here. How are you feeling about that? If you have to go against him, Anorak is. I think he, I think he's the he, the kid's got potential. I was told by everyone that was at MissCon here in Missoula that um, this is his first time playing. Yeah. So I say. If his parents are okay with it, someone needs to get that kid a PS4. Someone needs to give him a copy of that game, and that dude, that kid needs to get dropped off at my house, and I need to teach that kid. <laughs> I will, I will, I will mold him, and I will make him unstoppable. Let's say, look at that entropy is just trying to trying to engulf everybody. This is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you start feeling better and that the top eight continues to go well for you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's, that's when, yeah. That's, that that, that roundabout should just kick off right there. <laughs> See you in the tournament to be continued. Yeah. <laughs> that would be sick, man. That would be so. We need to screw Oh, yeah, we got, we got time Diego on the phone. Okay, I'm going to run a couple more yeah. interviews. Keep running interviews. Okay, folks. We can switch the camera here. Um, well, we still got a second. I'm going to run some more interviews, so oh, that's fine. Cool. Okay. Um, we're going to be sending it. You heard him talk about him earlier in the stream, Alex, or, um... Anorak? Anorak? Anorak. Anorak. Yeah. I'm gonna toss his stream up. He's definitely the youngest person here, so let's see what he's got to say after making it to top eight. Hi there, it's Iki back again with Alex Miller. And, uh, this is one of our top eight for Injustice 2, so how do you feel about that? That was a very intense match. Um, it was a little hard to pull off, but some practice matches since I arrived early kind of helped me prepare for that kind of stuff. Oh. Yeah. So what what is what do you feel? Wow, thanks, Brandon. Uh, <laughs> uh, what do you feel like the differences are between Montana Melee and MizCon? I heard that you were one of the top three champs at our MizCon tournament. I so uh, what what do you what do you like about the differences between the two? Ven like arenas, venues, you know. Uh, this is more open to different players, whereas like MizCon, for those who couldn't or didn't want to go in to participate in that tournament, they can participate here. And it's just a lot of fun to go up against everyone and see who they play and how they fight. Yeah, and I also noticed too, like looking around the room, you're probably the youngest person in here. So I just want to say that is amazing that you're in top eight. Do you feel pretty, pretty cool and lucky about that? Yeah, it's, I'm probably the youngest here. So being in the top eight as 12 years old, like no one would have anticipated that. That, that is awesome. Well, I'll be rooting for you because I want to see a 12 year old kick everyone's butt. Thank you. All right, thanks. <laughs>
So I'm here with the fog it comes on little cat feet. Yeah! That's me. Oh my god, finally got it. Um, so you're in Justice Top 8. What brought you out here today? Uh, I uh, wanted to come support Montana Melee because uh, it's a super good cause and I think it's really fun. Well, that's awesome. Um, are you wanting, thinking you're going to be able to go all the way through this today? I'm surprised I even made it this far, so I must have really scrubbed it out. So. Hey, nothing wrong with that. You are doing way better than I am. <laughs> you're doing way better than I would be. You did way better than I was yesterday playing games. So you know what? Props to you. Uh, is there anything that you're really hoping for to see like in a match today? Oh, I have no idea. I'm just going to go and uh, give it the old college try and uh, try my best and that's it, yeah. Alright, well, you get an A for effort. Good right, job. <laughs>
Eh, it's okay. It's not like it was for a bad cause. It was just for the cause that's right behind our shoulder there. Shameless plugs are shameless. Shameless plugs are always shameless, but we love doing this for Watsons. Um, so are you hoping to place top four, or are you just now in it to play and just see how well you do? No, oh, no, I'm going to go for the top four. Well, that's fantastic. I hope you do well, and uh, we'll go ahead and end it here. All right, so I'm here with Brown Dogs Are Cool. What's the, what's the number at the end? 42. All right, any significance to the 42? Uh, just the answer. <laughs> that is true. Answer, answer to everything, right? Everything. All right, so you're in top eight for Injustice 2. How does that make you feel? Uh, good. Yeah. Yeah. Have you, been, have you been practicing for Injustice 2, getting ready for this? Yeah, I've been playing Diego like every other day, and he's about to mess me up on stream. <laughs> but I do, I do see you playing quite a few games, so what, what made you come to Injustice? Swamp Thing. Swamp Thing. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Thank you again, Brown Dogs 42. We'll see you later. And we're back. We're on that promo. Which one? I ran them. Yeah. Right? No, I didn't. This is you, right? Yeah, baby. Okay, I didn't run you. Alright, one more. We got one more video. I'll drop it in there. One sec. It's Ike again here with uh, Brandon, the man behind the camera. Yes. Who is also in Justice 2 Top 8, and he might have to go against that 12 year old that we just talked to. How okay. do you feel about that? Okay, so what I'm worried about, <laughs> honestly, is not so much facing him, it's getting to him, right? I'm not good enough to be playing this game. I can't believe you guys are letting me beat you. What is wrong with this? I came here today to lose to Diego, and I got it first. First round. What? Diego destroyed me on stream. Appreciated it. Okay. However, second round, my girlfriend. No, no, not really. She, Damn, uh, son. She almost beat me. <laughs> Damn. So, but I got through that. <laughs> Last round, we picked each other's buttons because we don't know what we're doing. So that's how good I am. Expect me to take eighth out of eight. All right, well, I'll be cheering for you. No, I'm fine. For eight out of eight. Yeah, all right. All right, thanks. <laughs> There we go. That was the last of the interviews. Treasure Train. He's in there. He's top eight. He Treasure Train is running in losers. He's gonna be playing against Anorak, the youngest player here. You saw him earlier. Um, so they're in losers, but they can fight. Their, they're gonna fight their way out. You can expect that. Top eight injustice. Top eight injustice. We're gonna get rolling. Um, they're calling them to the back. That's kind of where the intros are going to all be run out. And they're going to come out, sit down, and get ready to rock. Um, you already give a shout out to, uh, to my main man, Treasure Chain. Yep, Treasure Chain, Omega okay. Science. Cool. Calling out their, their boys. Oh, that's good. Well, Omega is out of... Because SOL, Spirit of Life Gaming, is out of Kalispell. Kalispell. Uh, Omega is out of Bozeman as well, right? Billings. Like, but, Billings. Um, but, I mean, I don't know if it's uh, related here. Maybe Omega Science can clarify if you're with uh, Omega Gaming or not. I was under the impression Omega Gaming was kind of dissolved. Oh. But, uh, because Thomas, the owner, moved to Washington mm. um, to work for uh, selling water heaters. So, oh. so, well, so that's fast that's Luke, water heaters. Lucrative business, I suppose. Yeah. Okay, I think we got interview. We got intros coming in. I'm gonna flip the cams up. We're okay. gonna do the three thing, and then Sounds we'll to me. we'll kind of talk while we while we go. Yeah. That's totally uh, fine. All right, we what do we got? We, need, we got we, we got need intros. A bit of light. Yeah, there we go. Top eight from Injustice at the back of the room. I don't think they're all there just yet. They're building up. Filtering. I got that. That crooked Dutch angle. You know what? That's that's fine. Very artistic. Looks good. What does it take to run a, a, a gaming team? Okay. What does it take? I mean, I what does it know. take? Okay, is it as simple you as? You gotta be dedicated to your players. That's what's the, you know, because that's the biggest thing that uh, keeps your players interested and involved and willing to support your brand is. If you're good to them, they'll be good to you. You gotta take care of them. Um, and I think that's that's the biggest part of it. 
I'm not getting lazy, you know, because <laughs> if your players don't hear from you ever, if you're not actively communicating with them, they're going to want to know what the hell's going on with our team. Yeah. You know, so, I mean, that's a good, that's a good point. Yeah, it takes a nice it takes account. It's, you got to have an extra you, income. <laughs> if you are looking to send your players places, uh, buying plane tickets and stuff, you got to have some money. And whether that's sponsor money or your own saved up money, uh, you know, I do know some people who spend a lot of their own money on that stuff. Um, so... You know, the, those people are out there. Yeah, they're out there. It's a lot of dedication. Mm -hmm. And you know, putting up results is also. A big yeah, thing. that's important I mean, too. You know, you don't want to you don't want to be sponsoring bogus players. Yeah, <laughs> unless that, you're the FCZ. There's, there's, <laughs> then all it takes is just some Coors Light and you're good to go. Yep, and some smack talk. Yeah. But I mean, big shout out to FCZ. Like, they're 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 not here right now, but they're uh, not here, but they could have been. But, uh, the thuggery that comes from there, yeah, there, there's a lot of thuggery <laughs> there. Uh, FCC Hornet Sean was very, very excited for injustice, um, but he couldn't make it because of work unless he left at lot, four o'clock. A in the lot morning. of guys, a lot of guys. <laughs> we have a lot more events coming like in succession now, yeah, so it's, like, yeah. it's a lot harder to pick and choose which ones right. you want to go to. You can't go to now for the injustice two top eight. Okay, oh, we're doing the announcement top eight for injustice two. Uh, yeah, we got for our intro music two. and everything. Yeah, we do. We have Montana Bailey's very own wonderful AV guy, Tommy Parcel! No music. Where's the music? I hear it. I can hear it. Redo it. Redo uh, it. Wait, wait. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Are we running? We're running through all the intros at once, right? No, just as the players come up to the stream, I think. Two at a time? That's going to take all day. And well, we're doing it before the matches. That's a lot of football matches. The only is. Big Tom! It's the Big Tom! Giles theme, the classic. <laughs> yes, we have seen uh, the DBZ fighter, man. That looks lit. The 3v3 oh, DBZ. Oh, yeah. Marvel style. I'm and so who, excited for that. What company's doing it? Uh, uh, Bando Namkai? Or, or is it? I, I think so. I, I remember wait, a song. No, 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 no. It's the people that did Rev 2 for Guilty Gear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. right. Okay. Yeah, we're running through them all, I'm pretty sure. All right, miscommunication. Top eight, Running them all through because the young and the old. Okay, gotcha. Our very own superstar, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> That's dope. <laughs> cool. Little does he know it's about to be him. Oh, this is playing with these big boys. Another one coming right. <laughs> Treasure train. Treasure train. Yeah! <laughs> John Cena. <laughs> Yo, he's going through the crowd. <laughs> he's got his stick handler. He's got the stick handler. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> the John Cena the classic. <laughs> the camera's on that side, man. <laughs> yeah, we moved right there. Right yeah, we moved there. Yeah. We got JBD for Campbell! Oh, indestructible JDD. Yeah, there we go. Indestructible. <laughs> Oh, we didn't even get to the lyrics. That's the best part. We gotta, we gotta edit these to be cleaner. Oh. Oh. Yeah, he's running a different name, but you know him. He's Panda Medic. <laughs> so 
Someone had to do it. Charleston Chew. Mm. And the next up in the winner's bracket that we will have for you is another name that I've had a lot of problems saying this entire time. As I go back over and over again, we got Brown Dogs are Cool! Going with the swamp thing. Oh, man. Oh, my God. That's all good. Amazing. All right. Our final winner going up against Brown Dogs. Uh, Brown Dogs are cool. Ooh, let's see what you kind of music. Love, you what love kind of music? The Mazuma Phenom Entropy. We miss you dearly. That's the, that's the big shout out. R.I.P. Adam West. R.I.P. Uh, dude, for real. Like, just a two. Give him a hand. That's our top eight. We're gonna be moving into brackets now. I think we're gonna go through. Let's get into those games. We gotta get some games going here. We're gonna have to flip around the commentator cam. Show the boys one more time, drink a little bit of coffee. Alright. I think you're looking good. I think you're looking good. I think so. Alright, so we're going to go ahead. Sat down, Tubby Parcel, and. Big Tom coming up first. Big Tom. And we got Big Tom and Tubby Parcel. Starting things off for us here at Montana Melee. 7. Three out of five. Tubby Parcel on the right. You saw the interviews earlier. Name the faces. Mm. And we gotta get the controller set up. And I think we are ready to go. That is a lot. Some people spitting some words, stream monstering a little bit. There's no way we're actually seeing in Black Canary. Oh no! Wait, wait. wait. Are you sure? Nah, he's not. Gonna, he's not going to Black Canary. He's just no checking way. his buttons. Right. We might actually see Aquaman right. from someone. No way! I don't know. Oh, okay, Big Tom is definitely on the right. He's running Supergirl. Superman on the left. Oh. The soups, the Kryptonian duo. Let's see who comes out on top. Family fight. The family, yeah, the family feud with those. With those complimentary colors, rocking the fan. Alright, good zone. Come on, down back two. There we go. The only way to fight a Kryptonian <laughs> is with, with another Kryptonian. Ooh! So is this two out of three or is it still three out of five? It's going to be three out of five all the way through. Okay. Down back two. Opens. I can never learn that. does so much chip. It does. It really does. And the crate, it builds up pretty fast. Like, and, and you know, even if they jump, you know, there's nothing they can do to avoid it, so it's really good for closing out matches using that, that uh, not the beast skill, the trait. The trait yeah. <laughs> Watch out for the super. Oh. You know it's going to happen. Oh, blocked. Big Tom, Big Tom, if, you, if you've been watch, you should always watch your opponents, and if Big Tom was watching any of Tubby Parsons' game, you should know that when he has super, he's gonna try to catch him with the armor. Right. Oh, it's so if you, uh, give them $20, you get 40 tickets. Yeah, that's it. Did, did you give them 20, 20 bucks? I should. I wanna get a shirt, so I'll probably just get money out um, in a minute here. Uh, do you know when there's going to be the so, raffle? Probably near the end of the day. Near the end of the yeah, day. Yeah, for sure. Oh, good air recovery. 
Oh, didn't, Superman. Superman. Didn't keep him in check, though. Against the corner. Hit. Oh, no. He could have extended that uh, flip kick. Yeah. Okay. Is that, <laughs> that, yeah, is. that is definitely in there. Oh, That's it. Space. We're going to take you to the sun, boy. But shouldn't that make it, it should, Yeah, it, should make, it makes both of them stronger, so... It comes out, it's a wash. Again. Yeah. <laughs> Big Tom, going up one. Nice and decisive. He's making some decisive decisions. She looks worried as she flies off. And that. All these things to talk, think about. Yeah. The fashion industry or whatever they have her doing. I don't, yeah. I don't know anymore. You know, I don't really know what's going on there, but... The flash. The flash. We got more flashes in here today. Was not expecting more flash. Um, hmm. I don't know how I feel about it. I think it's, we see a lot of jump twos. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's that's what I expect. I'm not sure how familiar I mean, he is. The teleport's him. always gonna get in there if you're not keeping an eye on it. It is, you know, a little difficult to react to, but uh, you know, it being one of the strongest teleports in the game really gives Supergirl a, uh, a hand up against some players who you know, aren't as good as uh, reacting to that. Um, Okay. Ooh, oh no, uh, this is the trade. Okay. Oh, but you know, no, nope, <laughs> nope. Even with the trade on, you can react a little bit easier to those teleports. He's <laughs> <laughs> almost got his trade belt back up. As soon as you see him jump, you can just do the down back too. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's been landing every time for Supergirl so far. Uh, there we go. One more time. Getting in there, pumping out some damage. Ooh. That's it. Big uppercut. Lots of meter on both players there. Mm -hmm. Saving up. I don't doubt that if, yeah. Okay. That's good. That's good. Take him, take him for a ride. Oh. <laughs> and splash. Sister, sister. <laughs> wow. Oh, could have been a good could have been. Oh no! You can't. Oh. I don't like seeing the raw trait. Like, yeah, he, no. he has ways to for those traits to get set up. You can definitely combo into it. The raw trait will will rarely work out because as soon as you get hit, you know, it goes out, away. You yeah, the trait there. There you go. Got something going there. Oh, okay. You saw the nope. buffer. I saw the, the the classic like Street Fighter dash. Yeah. <laughs> for the double input. There you go. Lasers. Ooh, that's a really that's good trait, it. and that's it out of there. Pumping out the damage. And that's two for Big Tom. We're three out of five. We are in loser's bracket. So. Three out of five. No clash has happened yet. No, and you know, that's, <laughs> that is one of the, the biggest things when it comes to the more experienced players. They use their clashes really, really well. It's like a whole new metagame in Injustice 2, you know, learning when to use your clash and then how much to bet when you are using your clash. Um, obviously, you want to be keeping an eye on your meter, your opponent's meter, just to know exactly what can happen when you do clash. But uh, they're very important for staying alive in the end game. Um, and I've seen plenty of matches that were decided by the clash. Look at that. So, tubby parcel, that's what you can do. You can hit the the anti-air into tray, and then you gotta do the jumping two, jumping two, jumping two. But I didn't like the decision there to burn the meter on the air and air escape. I mean, he's gonna need some meter to clash with. Exactly, yeah. It seems like he was just spending, spending the meter willy-nilly right there. Which is very easy to do. Um, as a, as a Dr. Fate player, I, I know that all too well. Burn that meter. Big Tom got sitting on a full oh. bar. Is he going to try to catch him? I Full stick of butter. But you know what? He hasn't been using his uh, stuff for meter burns, so I'm expecting a super to come out. And catch. Yeah, maybe he's saving it for a clash or something. I'm not really sure. You know, because... There it is. Okay. That's clean. Yep. That's going to do a lot of damage. Yeah, if you hit that stance, like you're committed. And that was an easy one to, to see and, do, and react to. 
Uh, the big Meteors. one. Meteors. Flash sitting on a full stick of butter. Oh, is he? He might. Maybe he'll make something it. happen with yeah, it. I don't maybe. know. But with the, the rate that he was spending his meter earlier, you know, you wouldn't think so. But you never know what's hiding up his sleeve. He's got full trait. Oh, there, there he goes is. with the super. Is that clean? No, no it is not. not. That is not what he needed at all. And that's going to be That should be it. Oh, oh no. Just shy. 1.52 health. Chip, chip him out. There, there we go. Yeah. That is oh, yeah, those number intervals up top. So yeah, it is amazing to see that damage. Um, and that's 3-0 for Big Tom. But yeah, not much to really say there. It was pretty clean um, for Big Tom. That was a nice, nice, good super, Supergirl stuff. Some good Supergirl stuff. I mean, still would say there's some suboptimal stuff going on there. You know, I mean, but you know that's uh, that's to be expected. You know, one, the game's pretty early, and two, mm -hmm. you know we're still in top eight, so we're not at the tip top of the line here so far. Uh, you know, I, I, when we get to loser finals, grand finals, I'm sure we're going to see some some really nice stuff happening, especially out of uh, XP Jinsei. Jinsei, um, of course, knows how to use his meter, and that's right. and that's yeah. a large chunk of this game is knowing yeah, like, how to management. use how to use your meter. There are so many things you can use your meter on: recoveries, extending combos, dashes, armor, yeah, you know, all sorts the of the roll. Things. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of things that you have to be using it for. And up, coming. I think it's generally accepted that you don't really want to use that super move unless you know it's going to kill him out, right? Yeah, you, you don't want to deal second with that second fire and it's going to kill him. Um, if you have that, that that amount of meter at that point. Uh, but a lot of people throw out the super moves without really knowing what their options are with the, with with the meter. So um, that's something we saw in that last match a few times. <laughs> Freaks, you look like Bobby Scar with the beard. You know what? How many hey, people man. so far have told me I look like Bobby Scar? Uh, probably at least ten. At least, 10. at least That's ten. You know, anytime I get on the stream, somebody says it. You know, uh, at at Fall Brawl, some Smash kids came up to me asking if I was Bobby Scar. I was like, No, uh, no. <laughs> why, why would Bobby Scar be here yeah. in Montana? Hey, man, we had we had uh, we had people coming here. We had a, a <laughs> kinder party. Yeah, no, that's so, a, you know um, I helped them out here uh, because yeah. he was interested in our scene. That, 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 that's one of the best stories in Spring Scuffle, I think. Oh, without um, doubt. Uh, kinder party making it out here. He plugged us on the Marble Live stream mm -hmm. um, this week, Tuesday. Uh, oh no, that, Thursday. Excuse Thursday. Me. Yeah, Thursday. Um, and it, it was awesome. Uh, but yeah, let's see what we got going on here. We got Anorak playing Green Arrow again, and then we got Soul Treasure Train as Captain Cold. Are we going to see some icicles? Yeah. I mean, it's getting real chilly oh, in here. He's loading it up. Oh, there we go. Come on. Oh, going with the armor. Okay, we got some setups. Oh, there's an icicle. We're getting real uh, cold up in this boy. There you go. Those mountains yeah. are blue. The mountains, the, are mountains, blue. the mountains are blue, boys. Captain Cold, the official character. <laughs> of course. <laughs> hey, Jago! Those blue mountains, buddy! You're keeping those blue mountains cold! <laughs> Captain Cold one with the boys. That's what I said. <laughs> Good clash. Now, what's the mirror looking like? Uh, he's gonna. Pershing. He was in there. He just knew exactly he's got the, the two bars. Yeah, he's gonna keep his life right up in there. How did uh, Anorak invest in that? I didn't see it. Oh, the ice wall. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. Okay. Oh! oh we need to work on that timing just a little bit. But it's good. He's got something started there. Captain Cold. Oh. Getting in there. Got Doing some cold load, stuff. Load cold the things. That is cold, buddy. Wow. He's got he's got some ice stuff. Oh, he does. Oh, oh picked him up. There you go. There you go. Let's see if he's got it. Oh, Still a little bit fast on. Needs to just do a little bit of adjustment right there. He's waiting like a quarter second. Yeah, just a little bit of delay there, and they would have been able to pump out a little bit more damage. Mm -hmm. um, so that's one up for Soul Treasure Train, the man. 
Are we gonna see a switch? We saw that he played the Anorak plays Joker. As he does, well. and he's got he's got you know a little bit of Joker stuff going on there. Uh, he definitely has a few Joker combos. Another character that I saw him play that you saw him play too at Miscom was Dark Side. I wonder if he's been working on that at all. Mm -hmm. um, because if you can if you can do well with a dark side's laser game, you can really mess people up. Yeah. Uh, people that don't know how to deal with zoning and, oh! and stuff. black Adam. That's another that. guy. You know, you could definitely zone with. He's got a lot of options yeah, here, and I wonder how it's going to come into play. I'm actually really excited to see this. Yeah, I wonder I if it'll this be is really pocket uh, black Adam. Has he been waiting? Has he been waiting the whole time? I don't know. He's like, I'm pushed up against the wall between a rock and a cold place. <laughs> Oh. oh, okay. Got the trade up. There you go. That's a lot nice of damage stuff. already. Captain yeah, Cold not giving up. Showing that he can get in there as well. I like the idea for the the armored three there. There you go. You got lightning. Give him the lightning. You got lightning. Watch out for the icicles. He needs to be throwing those. That, oh, throwing the saps out, man. Get those. Mm -hmm. Get those lightning bars out there. Okay. He's been able to get out a little bit more damage, which is good. Oh, frozen. Yeah, fine. Sends him. Send him down. Someone in the chat already said I look like Bobby Basement Scott. level. Someone in the chat already said I look like Bobby Scott. <laughs> People keep saying it. Oh, misses it. Okay, Black Adam. Black Andy. We got meter. We're gonna win that clash. We're gonna get some health back and we're gonna do some work. Okay. Getting in there. Yeah, there we, we go. got lightning. Got lightning. Keep, keep throwing them out. Don't jump in. You gotta keep them away. I mean, yeah, if you get to dictate the pace, the starting of lightning, like, go That's for it. That's exactly what Black Adam can Ooh, send do. him back in! Oh, transition! Transition. Okay, we're not out of this yet. He doesn't have any more clashes though. Oh. Okay. Expected a rush. Mm. Someone to rush in. Out of there. Frigid. Black Adam just needs to create some distance. He needs to stay back and throw lightning bolts. He just needs to do his thing from a distance and not allow Captain Cold to do his thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, there you go. Yes. Get him. Cause Black Adam's fast. He's fast. He's got good zoning. Like once he gets, starts, once he starts up, right there, right there. He's got to be doing something while he's stopping to charge up the gun. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, the field. Oh, wow. Okay. Drop Captain Cold is just putting on the hurt, though. He's got, yeah. he's got setups. He knows what he's got to be doing, and he's doing it. Pops him with the gun. That's good. That's a lot of damage there. Oh. Oh. Okay. That was like an interesting meter burn good. there. He just good. has to keep him under pressure. Black Adam seems seems like he's getting some momentum going there. Uh, he just needs to keep that up. Hey, don't let him charge up his gun. You no. Gotta keep, send pokes out. You That's the call. last thing you want to happen. Keep him busy. If you give him a minute, there you go. charge that up. Oh, wow. He's bringing it back. There you go. We still in there. We're in there. We're in there. He's, he's not he's very very going out without a fight. Good block. We will not go oh. quietly into the night. Black Andy, come on, we're getting it going. There you go. Doing cross some up. stuff, doing I some like damage. Watch out for the okay, super. okay, Good transition. This we're still in there. there. We're still in there. Take him for a ride. Wow. Oh, oh, interactable. Oh, and he gets in there. No. Okay. Don't worry about him. He's just putting on the hurt jump right jump. over the ice wall. Look at this. Who's this paying for that wall? I don't know. Just hang out in the cold. Okay. There, there we go. go. There That's we the go. That we need. Good. Good stuff. Good stuff. Keep him in check. Okay. Don't. Oh, Captain Cold drops the combo. There you go. There good. Go. Good Come low. On. Good low. Black good cross up. He's, oh, just, he's just about there. Chip him out. Come on. One touch. Come on. Oh no. Oh, no. There you go. go. Okay. Okay. We're not going quietly into the dark night. Oh yeah. So. Anorak staying alive. I don't. If Pressure Train would have just 
play the zoning game that last bit, I think he might have been able to make I think he was cracking under the pressure, you know. Um, you wanna... In that situation, it's hard to, to, to keep it together, you know, when, mm -hmm. when, you're, when you're starting to fall behind. Um, and it looks like as soon as this new game starts, he's putting on the pressure, he's doing his thing, he's pumping out a lot of damage. Uh, the momentum is in his favor right now. I don't mind the rollout. Ooh, wow. Wow. Big one. <laughs> no way you're getting out of there. Oh, oh more transitions. Him down again. Down the elevator. Get out of there. Back and forth. Wow. And then, ooh. But we've seen this before. Anorak's not out. He's on his second life gun, bar. But if he plays the game right, he can keep Captain Cold out of there and do some damage. There you go. There, that's the start of it. That's Come on. Get that sign. Okay. Captain Cold with a great anti air. He's charging up his gun. Uh. There we go. More lightning. There's lightning. All right, keep, keep the lightning he, coming. He's been doing well with the lightning. Oh, uh, we're in that coal field. Okay. Well, we have four bars, a meter. We got a full stick of butter, and what's going to happen? Oh, oh man. Over he right. needs to save it. He needs to clash. He needs to clash. Get that clash. Use your trait. Where to clash at? Clash! Clash it! Clash it! Clash it. Yeah! yeah. There Good clash! Good clash! Stay alive, buddy, just like the BGs. He's got. He's jumping at him. There, there you go. go. That's yeah, that's bar. what we're talking about. Good clash. There you go. Yeah, that's don't that's Let's go. Shoot the lightning. More lightning. Yeah, yeah there we go. Keep it up. Moving there in. we go. I like it. Lightning. Oh, no. Okay, oh, that's how he's going to take some damage there. It's not looking good. No, he dropped good. it. Oh, whoa. I thought, I thought the was there. Ow. Oh, he wake up. Yo, wait, he's still alive. He's still in there. Yeah, get the What's going on here? Follow it up. Follow it up. Oh, oh. no. On oh. the oh. <laughs> oh, man. That was a great match, though. That was close. That's three up. Three, one, four. Treasure train. Oh. I'm so happy the clash happened. <laughs> that was the clutch clash. It was, he was right about there. Or else screaming, clash, clash. And, he goes and that's the thing it. is like, um, the reactions, to have the reactions to hear someone yell at something at you and just like pick it up immediately and be like, okay. It's one it. crazy thing about not playing with music. You know, lots of people, they like to be in their own little world when they're playing these games. They don't want any distractions, but other people are totally open to, you know, taking the input from the crowd while they're playing the game. Um, and to be able to do that and, and, and filter out the bullshit that people will, will yell at you, uh, you know, the, the, the fake news, the, fake uh, the, news, the bad the, advice, uh, the hecklers. The uh, alternative the alternative facts. Yeah, yeah. We don't need none of that stuff here yeah, on Alternative stage. frame data. Yeah. <laughs> it's not real. Frame data doesn't exist. It's, it's all a myth. I've been on Snopes, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so we got JDD444, and the fog comes on, little cat feet. He's got a new name every time he's new on. Name. I and mean, we all know who he really Panda is. Medic. Panda Medic. Panda Medic. But, uh, I remember at Big Sky Blitz Bash, he went under the name Charleston Chew. Charleston Chew. Um, he, can, he can go under the name Charleston Chew if he picks Captain Cold. Because, you know, yeah. you, you got to freeze up your... Oh, yeah. You got to freeze your Charleston Chews for optimum yeah. flavor. <laughs> green for, Arrow. And then Green Lantern. I haven't seen that Green Lantern skin. That's actually pretty sick. The like Robo Robocop yeah. Green Lantern. <laughs> Man, Oliver's so lame. <laughs> Lightning. Okay, there you go. Are we gonna see a lot of zoning from these guys? I think that that, that might happen. Oh, he's just gotta get in there with that with that quick step. Mm -hmm. Green Lantern, as soon as he pushes that button, he can start something going. I want to see... There we go. Come on. Okay. Keep I it like coming. the setup. Good block on the ice arrow. Claudio. 
Fire. Shit, this ain't second. Give him time to load up the air. There we go. That was nice. Good throw. Uh, uh, uh. Domed him. Wow. We haven't seen a whole lot of the lift combos that um, JDD was doing earlier. Uh, did you see some of those combos earlier today on yeah, stream? We, yeah, we did. Mm. Um, he was doing. It wasn't opt like he wasn't doing the meter burn combos. He did it a couple times near the end, but uh, there we go. That's good. Nice, big go. damage. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's oh, the that's oh, that's oh, oh, wow! Excellent Green Lantern combos there. That's the stuff that we're looking for. That's the good stuff. Yeah, that that, that nice little meter burn right there, just for good show. And we even. Archery's a hobby. <laughs> Oh, nope. lift. No, he's not playing around. Oh! Oh! oh. Was that wow. cross up? Did that cross up? I, it that looked was... like it, didn't it? Because if it does cross up, that's dirty. It is nasty. Oh, we'll have to watch out for that again because uh, that uh. looked like it crossed up. There we go! <laughs> didn't cross up that no. time. It's just so fast and it's overhead. And that's one up for JDD. Ba -ba 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 Wow, that was nasty. That was cool though. Yeah, that was that little Oki move there. That was nuts. I want to know if that is a true cross-up or not. Okay. Didn't have the bar meter. It's being followed up, but there's no meter right now. We just saw him do it there, and it was blocked. It didn't look like a cross-up. Come on, Joe. Man! So is Blake. What's going on, dude? Felix. <laughs> Running the setup. A uh, blah, 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 blah. Mm. Right in the head. Ooh. Trying to read that. that Getting here. in there. Oh, drops it. Is he going to get it? There we go. Okay, we're back in. One. Back in there. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. Meter burn. Again. Oh, need it. A fat 341 damage. Got those combos. How does Green Lan or Green Arrow have more health than Green Lantern? <laughs> In what world? Oh, you know, that's man. a good question. I'm not really sure why that is. Meter um, burn. And boop. but it doesn't matter here. That, that's clash. a good clash. Good clash. He's got a lot of meter and he's got to spend it. <laughs> nice. And what you gotta respect as well is um, doing the meter, uh, doing the clash immediately after the meter burn, so you, yeah. you can get him to waste the bar of meter yep. before you clash him. Stopping the combo to, you know, you're not you're avoiding the damage and also using up their meter. That's a re very good point. And it's smart. Yeah. And it takes good timing to be able to ice arrow. Oh, got hit with it raw. Wow. Okay, you can't count green Fireworks. now just yet. He's getting in there. He's doing some damage. He's working. Green Arrow ain't going down just yet. Oh, the wall. The fog comes on little cat feet. Got through the ice arrow. Jump, jump Play his own game? Yeah. Ooh. Did he catch it? Yeah, he did. See some meter burn? meter burn? Oh, but against the wall. It messed up his spacing. Shout out to Cosmo Weasel. Good morning. There you go. Yours oh. truly. Freaks JD. and Felix on the mic. JD with that Green Lantern. That is a nasty Green Lantern. I'm loving the I'm loving the combos. The combos um, we didn't yeah we didn't see the the those lift combos until this point at least we, not on stream. Right. No. And and that's it's devastating. They do so much damage. He's good with his combo game. He's, he's good with the setups. He's good with his zoning. He's doing everything right right now. And I think, uh, I think this JDD is he's in a good place to win the tournament, I think, with this kind of gameplay if he keeps if it he, up. If he keeps it tight. I agree. One, two, and three. God. Too slow on the wall. There we go. Oh, good catch there. Nice. Instant. Are we going to see a transition? No? Okay, end the combo. Drop some pillars on him. Just pumping out lots of damage there, keeping the pressure up. Wow, yeah. nice lift. More meter burn. Oh, oh. it right there, but Bouncing still. Off. Bouncing off the walls. 
super hard. It is difficult to, to you know to, to account for that and continue the combo on, but he was able to close it out and get some damage. Ice arrow locked away. There we go. Pick it up. And God, he, he's hitting there that every time. Oh, that's gonna get blocked. So I like the adaption from JDD. He didn't do the the meter burn lift because he was afraid that the clash was gonna. He knew that the clash was gonna happen immediately yeah. afterwards. Yeah. So that, that's a very good adaptation, and that's next level. You know, keeping that sort of stuff in mind. Mm -hmm. So he picks it up, does the lift. More damage coming out. Oh, there's the clash. Okay, we saw that one coming. Good timing on that clash, but they're both at one meter, so not too much gonna happen. Clash tied. But now JD's got the meat. He is ahead closer. on meter. Yeah, so if he gets one touch, you're gonna see him transition you into see that him. lift. Straight and close it out. That EX lift. There you go. There we go. And lift. And that's back. it. Oh, oh. 0.71 health Chipped left. Out. <laughs> Chipped out right away. Very well JD. done by JDD. 3 0. 3 0. He's moving on to winners finals, and very well done. Good job, JD. That was very well played. That is a nasty Green Lantern. Hey, quick question for you. That uh, the flip with the stomp that that he is, it, it is a cross up. Okay, okay. Yeah. Tyler we were, trying, we were trying to figure that out. Yeah, That's no. nasty. It's a cross up. That is dirty. It's fast and it's a cross up. Jeez. The score is a little bit slower than this guy. It it's a lot faster than one. Yeah. yeah. So it is a true cross up. Yeah. That's oh. dirty. I can't wait to see more of that. That's sick. Uh oh. My bad, Sam. I think I did something. Uh oh. I didn't step on Fortnite. <laughs> uh, we need we need stream boys over here. Um. Uh, I think it's on me somewhere. No. Maybe. Yeah. Okay, we gotta take a quick second here with the input got messed up. We're gonna try and figure this out. I was standing right here. The cables are all good. Oh, watch out for It's probably this right here. And is, uh, yeah, capture cards on. There you go. You got it. There you go. did it. Oh, okay. Cool. All right. We got, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Oh. <laughs> little bit of waggle, little bit of wiggle. Thank you, my friend. Oh, wait. Are we going to see Batman up here? Do we need to get the Batman man? Oh, alrighty. We're going to wait for so. finals for that. Okay, that's fine. In the meantime, Green Lantern wailed this dream to get by. While we get set back up, we're going to hang out here for a bit. Mm. We're going to get nice and cuddly here. Oh, yeah. We'll add Montana Melee 7. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of awesome stuff going on here today. I'm glad you guys are tuning in. Uh, we've had some great injustice so far this morning. What are, what are you thinking about the matches we've seen? Um, some of the earlier matches, the, we have a wide, we have a broad range of skills. Yep. Um, definitely getting filtered out kind of accordingly. I mean, it's to be seen. As to be expected. Um, but that so was some sick Green Lantern stuff. Some good saw. Green Lantern. I think JGD. I think that's. Shout outs to Brian F. That's a, that's a rog. Yeah, dude, when he mirrored a smug. Um, at uh, Combo Breaker, that was so sick. Oh. So, yeah, it was nasty. I couldn't believe it. I can't. I couldn't believe how Snake Eyes did at that tournament, man. It's crazy. We got sound. What are you talking about, boys? It's a. Uh, it's live to to match. So. Well, we're gonna see a Swamp Thing mirror, possibly. No. Well. Uh, Let's see what's what's going on here. Jinsei on Joker. That it's gonna be Swamp Thing. Come it's on. gonna be Swamp. Swamp Thing for brown dogs are cool. We could see Joker. They were playing yeah. casuals earlier. Jinsei playing Joker. Is that what we're gonna see here? Is this oh is yeah. The next the next pocket character. Yeah. Mess around with the. Uh, see how it goes. Checking the tournament settings, making sure we're all good. 
that's the a good thing with um, they have some of those zany trait equipment and but in a tournament setting you know we want an equal footing as clean as possible and Swamp Thing and Joker are coming into it send out the spores oh, so so Jinsei is playing Joker yes they were playing really? casuals earlier and we have the names right then no we don't Oh. There we go. I played this too much. There okay. you go. Starting off nice and strong. Gets the bar of meter. I know that Jinsei was talking about wow. getting the spacing, right? Wow, <laughs> that spacing was sick. He's uh, setting up the. Let's get the clatter, oh. the shattering teeth set up. Yeah. There you go. Pop him. God, I love seeing those shimmies and just. 77 damage. Ooh, armor through the log. That was great. Really good. Ba -ba. Solid damage coming out. There we go. Good yep. defense. Okay. Look at that. That was Thank a good you. decision. That's Tell him a it. joke. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, David. I think. Okay. Throw the Kong. <laughs> Too far. Oh, yeah, those vines. Oh, 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 oh. get him. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, burn off that. Oh, look at that meter burn. Wow, right there. Those I'll logs go log. so far. Oh, wow. okay. And he expected a log to come out there and not uh, to grab. Bam. No, you can't count Swamp Thing out though. Uh, once he gets in there, he can really do a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. uh, but the problem he's having right now is dealing with uh, Jinsei's footsies. He's just so good when it comes to the neutral. <laughs> Those the classes, dialogue. Yeah, just, I'm gonna always try to be quiet with any of the dialogue. So classes, cheesy, yeah. So good. Oh, okay. Solid. So of course you can't kill with the clash, but quick gun, throw the cards up. So that's one up for our boy, Entropy Jinsei. Oh, come on. There we go. Yep. Yeah, thank you. So I know for kind of they were playing casual earlier, and we're talking about it. And I know Brown Dogs are Cool is having a big problem with uh, <laughs> the uh, anti airs. So yeah. getting the anti airs. Talking about using the bushes a little bit more. Yeah. Preemptively to. Which is so strong. Against cross ups. Yeah. It's pretty fast. And that's the, that's the best part about it, was how quick it is. Mm -hmm. We got Brittany. She bought a Montana Melee shirt. Oh. Support the seat. Thank you. Yeah, I wanted one. If you got the command here, I gotta go to the bathroom. Okay. I'm gonna take a quick break. I have to use the restroom. Oh, yes. Uh, Brittany's gonna join you on the mic here for That's a little bit. That's okay, okay with me. <laughs> Ooh, the jump in. So, I see Joker. Yeah, Diego opening with the Joker. Another pocket character. No. <laughs> I think it's specifically for. Because they were playing this matchup. Yeah. yeah. They for, knew they were gonna play each other. And 4K specifically. Mm-hmm. Oh. Gotta watch some clones. And guns, guns, guns. And this is another thing they were talking about mm -hmm. is uh, messing or playing against uh, someone who has got zoning. He's having a hard time with it. Yeah, and as I was gonna say, he's de he definitely Joker has a health, a bit of a health lead on Swamp Thing as well. So. And Brown Dog's already burning out all his meter in that last trade, trying to use the clones. Mm -hmm. So now they're almost neck with meter. Yeah, I get to sit in that magic range where he can. There you go. Get something going. Get him in that corner. Don't let him get out. Oh. oh. The buzzes. <laughs> Brown dogs are cool. That looks like an AOL screen name. <laughs> <laughs> you can find them on the MSN Messenger. <laughs> he's, got it, he's got his away message up on AIM. AIM. <laughs> there you go. Oh, rolled up on him. Unblockable. 
He's got no bar meter. Oh, the gun. Jinsei going pow, pow. up too. Bang, bang. <laughs> bang, bang, chang, gang. <laughs> Prisma says, I got so salty at this game when I first got it, but watching people play is so hype. I can relate. I Joker can... mirror. What? This is a joke. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's my contribution. That's Just kind of <laughs> getting under throw, Diego's throw, skin. <laughs> throw it in there. <laughs> This is some riveting gameplay. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is what I came to see right here. Let's see if Brown Dog's got has a joker. I wanna see yeah, I wanna yeah. see one. I have a one. joker. I can hear you. Oh. Focus on your batch! If he can get if he gets a one solid combo, because right now it's looking pretty guns. Wow. <laughs> oh! Ah, right back at you. <laughs> They were lying. When, <laughs> they were lying when they said it was a mirror. Oh my god, same exact thing. What a prank, boys. Big combo. Uh, uh. I can't even tell. So like, there's that. Oh, okay. That's. Oh. That's a bit bad. Dashed away. Sending out the guns. Oh. Oh, oh, that was nice. What is he gonna do? Is he gonna charge oh. up? Oh. No. Nope. Can't. Cancer helping him out there. All right, so yeah, it's, it's Batman. Oh wow! The secret two Batman. It's already at two O. No clash. Oh, dropped it, so it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. And you know what? It wouldn't surprise me if Diego did that kind of thing on purpose so he couldn't get the clash. Yes. Yeah, see? <laughs> I knew it! I know this guy, ladies and gentlemen. I know his tricks. <laughs> Entropy Jensei is a Moving fraud. <laughs> Three oh. Well, if he's a fraud, he's just cleaned up. No, I know, I know. <laughs> he he's did. a con man. I knew he was doing that kind of stuff at Scubble, too. Ooh. <laughs> we got a lot more lighting. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> Who do we Turn got off next? your controllers, folks. And that's going to be JD and Entropy in Winners Finals. Oh, we are in yeah. Losers Semis now, which we got. I hate that the crowbar's traded. Yeah. That was so dumb. That was so. I'm the like, no wonder trade. they call it a mirror. <laughs> like, the same as that things are happening. <laughs> Comes on a little brighter than cat. Oh, <laughs> space. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. And S O L Treasure Train. I know that there's some Treasure Train fans out there. There he is, Omega Science. Treasure Train. Treasure Train all aboard. What? <laughs> Just two words. Oops, so that needs an R. And then the space that. That's it, though. Perfect. Yeah. And then. Yeah, two words. And then reset that score. There we go. All the stuff to mess with. Oh, yeah. Ignore the left, right. Um, it's actually the opposite. So. Oh, yeah. It's funny that those are also on the side there, too. <laughs> on this screen. So I was. Oh, excuse me. Almost new. You never had it. Spent years trying to see. How many green arrows? I dig Captain Cold though. He's a weird, he's an interesting character, but like practicing his moves, there. I was talking to FCZ Hornet, you know, Sean from the Bozeman crew, and he, it's we both agree that his moves are a little weird. Like the inputs are, you know, it's definitely a lot of like down forward, down back, and it's just kind of like a, he's kind of a stiff guy, you know, like frozen. Captain Cold's a little, a little stiff. <laughs> but he's cool. I do have fun with him. So. I've, I mean, yeah, we were talking about it earlier. He's, for for setting up projectiles and just like keeping away. Yeah. It's, it's 
a strong character, and you can convert <laughs> good damage too. Definitely, yeah. When I I first saw him, when our friend um, Alex. Uh, Sh Shady Nasty, aka Sha Dynasty. <laughs> um, when he brought out his Captain Cold, I was pretty surprised after seeing, you know, a lot of uh, that. Uh, what is it? Down? Is it down forward? No, I think it's down back. Why? Um, to do that little ice block no, move there, or something like that. Yeah, but he had a really good Captain Cold for starting out there. But we're seeing that Green Arrow definitely has a life lead on him right now. Mm -hmm. He just needs that touch too right here now. He's, there you go, slides Ooh, slide. in. There slides into first. Oh yeah. <laughs> got fire arrows, regular arrows, loads up the ice. Yeah, you got some too, babe. I mean, the thing is, is like, he can't uh, load up his gun yeah. faster than Arrow exactly. can grab, grab arrows. Yeah, and that, like, I think is why his ability is also weird, too, because you kind of, I feel like when I played with him, you have to hold B, like he's doing, like yeah, you just saw there. Yeah, charging to, up the gun. Yeah, to charge it up. So that's also an interesting thing about him, too. Because I feel like in between, I'm like, I can't charge it. I'm like, I have Ooh. no time. It's too intense. Back three. Ooh. Got the wall. Good. Good connect there. There we go. She's in that corner. Transition. Ooh, I love the train. Oh, this is my fave. Just keeps on going. Get off going. the bus. Where's your There's. ticket? <laughs> oh, and then even in the bar too, I noticed that you can like that guy there is an interactable. So yeah. You can even chuck him too. <laughs> that poor guy, all sloshed. He was at Spring Scuffle for too long. <laughs> <laughs> After Marvel. After Marvel, oh yeah. <laughs> Ooh, nice guns. Oh, cross oh, up. Oh, that was close. Can't get hit. There. Clipped him. There goes one. Oh no. And just run it straight back right away. <laughs> what a tag. Yeah. The fog comes on. Oh, Cappy. Oh, I love that that uh, projectile like staging action. Watch toes. Look at the pressure. Now he's got the Yes, arrows. yes, hit him with the icicle. Oh, block, oh. Pops, pops the cube with an arrow. So the icicle falling Ooh. can be close or far away, but I know it's a very tough thing to get out, especially when green arrows coming at you. Yeah, applying a lot of pressure. And just unloading projectiles mm -hmm. way, way more efficiently. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Projectile game. Oh, there we go. oh, okay. He got back for that. That was weird. Caught him in a weird angle. Weird little hitbox, yeah. But he's got a big old life lead. Yeah, look at that. Ooh. Shoot off the fireworks. Don't let him load up the gun. Oh, yeah, he lost he it. He's getting punished. He's got the armor, but like... Uh. I think he needed to maybe ice block to kind of get him off his guard a bit there, but it does use meter, so that's one of those things too. But you have to be careful. Yeah, there you go. Woo. Armor's on through. Got the life to spend. Yeah, that pressure is so arrows. strong. Keep him down. Loads he's up. Oh, yep, he's there you go. He's loaded again. He's fire ready. Fire arrows for that damage and knockdown. Ooh, and he's far away. Oh, he's no, that did not. Look at the chip on that, too. Like, you cannot take those Ooh. arrows too much. Mm -hmm. Keep him in check with those arrows. For sure. Oh. Oh, maybe he can get it get to him. He can get, get to, to the second bar. Yeah, get to the second life bar. Oh, oh. Green arrow sitting on full bar meter. He could probably super if he gets a oh, God, yeah. Yeah, 9.7, oh. yeah. He could have had the stylistic finish, but just had to close it out. <laughs> Take care of this. We're in we're in top eight. We gotta oh, yeah. things are Keep it clean it's getting and efficient. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Look at the fire. It's getting blocked by the wall. Oh, yeah. Change of pace, too. I was doing so much work. Seriously, At the yeah. full range. He can't even keep that that one ice block up, too, because he'll just shoot it away. So that's a thing, too, where, like, he has to quickly really react if he's got something in mind. But it's, he's kind of shot it away, and they keep going after that. Ice arrow is good for combos, but if he's just going for a poke war, fire arrows are the way to go without Definitely. a doubt. Yeah, we can see that. Yep. Playing the zone here. Oh, man, chip. I don't, how much chip is that? Is that 4, four um, six, 7 right now? Ooh! The slide. slide is killer. Oh, you should have. He's got no bar of meter yeah, to play with right now. Yeah, that is so such a tough one. Get it up. Uh. There you go. Instantly burns it. Yeah, there you go. Throw that was a glass. good combination of the stage interaction. Ooh, expected the, the come to rush down. Oof. Damn. I was almost expecting him to bust out that pot behind him and just be like, You're done. <laughs> You're out of here. <laughs> Yeah, that each arrow oh. for the fire is like 20 health. Time for the ice arrow. Going in. <laughs> almost got the level 3 gun. <coughs> what is it, too late? Like, side of the ice field. Alright. That's an uphill battle for sure. Yeah, man. Look at this. Just fire arrows. If he gets a clean hit, knocks him down so he's far away. And if he gets... And if, if even if on block, like, what, four or five arrows? Worth oh, and we got another transition. Back in the bus! Treasure train, the train. all about the stuff with <laughs> that public transit. Is that the treasure train that he was just knocked into right there, guys? Oh my god. <laughs> knocked into his own train. Oh. oh, is it gonna hit? Oh, him. that armor! I'm so mad. I heard it from here. <laughs> yep. Oh, and, and that's it. Stop. That is it. 3 0 for Bob. So. Woo! We're treasure chain though. I was I liked I did Captain Cole because um, I played him a little bit. He he can be kind of fun, but as far as you know the projectile game which we saw there, it just seems like Green Arrow was kind of clutching it out a little bit more. Maybe that's why it kind of shook up Cold a bit and he couldn't clutch his moves out that he wanted. And uh, next up we have Big Tom and Brown Dogs. Yeah, we'll still have the. Let's see. Oh, yep, so the fog moves on in losers, and yep, brown dogs. We got Cage and Big Tom up next in losers round four, it looks like. And having some technical difficulties with Twitch right now. Jason? Jason. Um, oh, yeah, he's over on playing four. Hold on before. Yeah, don't don't start yet. Our Twitch froze up. Yeah, just hold up, guys. <laughs> Kiss me, Tom. <laughs> uh, one second here. We have no signal for X split, so. Did something get unplugged? What? <coughs> <laughs> I'm going to take this opportunity here to give a shout out to everyone here at Montana Melee. They are working hard. They, I saw that they were here and they set up the venue that they have here at Ruby's Inn Convention Center, which is awesome. I love being in a kind of a convention room, ballroom, you know, gives us plenty of space to hang out, you know, play those friendlies, but when it gets serious, 
and the games we want to watch are on. We got to kick those friendlies off and just have a good time and watch everyone. And I appreciate all that they have been doing here for us and they have so many cool prizes. I know I entered in the raffle for that obsidian stick because it's going to be mine no matter what. I don't care. I'm winning it. <laughs> but that's really cool. I'm glad to be here and that Blake and I got to come down and see Felix and we got Mad Dog and Jensei, all the crew together. It always makes me happy and hopefully you guys are having a good time watching as well.